Hi guys, I hope you had a great week this week. Are you getting into a groove yet with your virtual school? I know at my house, my fourth, sixth, seventh, and 11th grader are all doing pretty good at it. Even my oldest son, who's in college, has been home taking his classes too. Our house looks pretty different around here lately with everybody here all day. Are things at your house looking different too? But no matter what's going on, no matter what kind of changes we're going through, and no matter what's going on in our country or even in the world, God has a plan. Did you know that he knew this was going to happen before it even started? Pretty amazing, huh? And he also knows what's going to happen tomorrow and next month and even next year. He already knows. And it says in the Bible in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, that God works all things to the good for those who love him. So even this time where all this crazy stuff is happening, it's going to be worked for our good in the long run. This week is Palm Sunday. I don't know if you're familiar with Palm Sunday. So we're going to read a lesson from the Bible and I want you to try to figure out why we call it Palm Sunday. It's also part of God's plan, and it's amazing to read these plans of God's out of the Bible. This week, it's found in Matthew chapter 21, starting in verse 1. We're going to read together. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell him the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughters of Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, placed their cloaks, like jackets, on them, and Jesus sat on, him, on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from trees and spread them on the road, too. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. What an amazing time that would have been to be there. Did you hear about the palm branches? They laid them on the ground where the donkey was walking in front of Jesus. And some people even waved them in the air as they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. What an amazing time that would have been. Let's pray and thank God for what he did in his plan. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the story of Jesus that we can read about in the Bible. We thank you that you sent your son with the plan for him to die for our sins. And Lord, we know that as he traveled into the city and was being praised and worshiped, that very soon the attitudes of the people were going to change. Thank you, Lord, that he went even knowing what was about to happen to him, but he knew it was all part of your plan. Lord, help us to be grateful this week for everything you've done for us and keep us safe and healthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, as you probably know, next Sunday is Easter. So I have another challenge for you, just like I had last week. And I want to thank those of you who sent your pictures of your pets. I so much enjoyed seeing all of the different animals that you guys have. So this week, since Easter is coming, I'm going to challenge each of you to, to decorate an Easter egg. 
You can only use supplies that you find in your house. This template will be available online, but if you don't have a printer to print it, you can just draw an egg and decorate that too. So I want you to use the things you'll find like possibly markers or paint or glitter, anything you can find in your household to decorate this egg. And then you can have your mom and dad take a picture of it and send it to me. Now this week is gonna be kind of special because every kid who sends in an Easter egg to me is going to get something special in the mail from me. How exciting is that? You'll have to make sure you decorate your eggs so you can see what the surprise will be. Well, I hope you guys have a great week this week and good luck with that schooling. Bye. Hi guys, I hope you had a great week this week. I hadn't, are you getting into a group? Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> 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 <la